Oh, welcome to the channel. This is match 17, a 17th vlog we've done this World Cup so far. It's Croatia versus Japan. So Croatia haven't looked too convincing in their games. 2-0 uh, nils and a 4-1 win over Canada. And despite having that goated midfield, in my opinion, are Brazovic, Modric and Kovacic. I think I've said in a, quite a few vlogs before that what really stifles them is that striker it's that clinical number nine who can score goals on cue for them that's what they've really been missing so i'm, I'm interested to see how they're going to try and break down this very stubborn very organized japan team now japan have been the surprise team so far i think they had like something like 15 to 20 percent in two of their games they beat spain they beat germany they can take another scalp here comfortably comfortably there's this team is so technically gifted and can play so well on the counter and that seems to be a theme for this World Cup. Uh, the Netherlands did it very well, quite poor in terms like going forward but the, ne the Netherlands team able to counter, able to score with Memphis Dubai and Gapco in the other game that we did. So let's see how it goes. We used to be football in the whip but then we put up some content that FIFA didn't like and they destroyed our channel. So we're starting again from zero, but a walk and away we go. So please make sure you subscribe so we can get back up to that number before we leave the World Cup. We normally do bring you a lot of um, what's going on, some fan interviews, some stuff around the stadium, things like that, which always make a nice vlog. I was running late today, uh, needed some food, because uh, I've got Brazil Korea straight after this as well. So please make sure you subscribe if you're a fan of the channel. Interesting first 25 minutes. All this talk about Japan being this team that's going to sit deep, going to defend, be organised and counter, that hasn't come true. They must have seen something different with this Croatia team who have been a little poor and they've come out and they've tried to get on the ball. I think their possession will be up to around 50-60% and there's two players, number 8 and number 15, Kamada and Joanne and they're just picking up pockets of space in midfield and causing outnumbering them there or they're going over wide and outnumbering them there freeing up the full back wing back to free up to be able to put a cross in low and they're putting so many crosses low fortunately for Croatia they defended everything but those two are floating and they're going together it's not one of them goes to one side both of them go over and create an overload and it's either they create overloads wide or in the centre and Croatia just don't know how to pick them up because they're moving everywhere um, this is a very good Japan team. I've not watched them before, to be fair. I was always at other games, but seeing them now, these guys look good. Thanks for Japan. Huge chance. They count it quickly. They get it wide. And every time Croatia tried to clear their line straight away, Japan are straight back on them, winning the ball back. And you can hear the noise that amped up a little bit. They really, really believe that this Japan team is going to cause an upset here. I'm by the Croatia fans, and they look nervous. They look very, very nervous. amount of Japan flags, the neutral are definitely supporting Japan, a well deserved goal, the one they lost and I think there's just before the half time. We're just underway, a brilliant 45 minutes from the Japanese, um, that goal that they scored was their first shot on target, what I fear for Croatia here though is Japan can just revert to what they did against Spain and Germany and they can just, ooh, and they can just choose to play on the counter now they can sit deep they can organize they can defend well block up the spaces and get Kamada and Kawan just to go forward at will when they can to counter and, and what I love about their counter is it's so direct a lot of other teams they take they dilly around with it they slow it down these two are so direct and they've always got their full command and their striker to play off Croatia that midfield three needs to come alive they need to start understanding the tempo of the game and take control and pin this team in let's see how it goes the support from some of these countries has been immense the Senegalese the Ghanaians the Japanese have all made so much noise all game for 90 minutes I'd love to see it the doctor wouldn't mate it's Perisic with a brilliant header 
He puts it right into the side netting where the can't, keeper can't get it. And there's a crossbar, I think, from Brozovic. Really whipped in ball. And he just beats his man. It was maybe 15 yards out. And manages to get it right in the corner. One all. Game on. Japan have looked threatening this half, though. Ooh, and they've just had one tipped over the bar. Corner coming up. But they've looked threatening themselves. But that was just one passage of play. And Croatia score. They do have a better quality. They just need to make it show a little bit more. It's shaping up to be a cracking end to this game. Ooh, Perisic has come alive. He does it and after a mazy run. He tries to get um, at the end of a shot as well and puts it wide. After that goal, he's just come to life, really. And they've moved him centrally and they've changed their formation ever so slightly to get him more central. And it looks like it's working so far. The Japanese have lost their, their technical ability a little bit. They've just allowed that midfielder of Croatia to dictate tempo a little bit more. They're, a little bit, they're not getting on the ball as much and they're not getting into the wide areas as much. That's the biggest thing that they haven't been able to do. So there's 20 minutes left. The vast majority of Croatia's games and World Cups in the knockout stages have gone to extra time. So we had Brazil, South Korea after this, but uh, a decision may need to be made. The 88th minute, there's not been many chances at all. The second half has been very, very cagey, very tense. I thought it opened up, especially with Japan having that one goal to counter. But that early goal, Croatia goal, changed the game up. 88th minute, I don't see a winner. I see extra time and I potentially see penalties. But I also have Brazil, South Korea to go to, so what are we gonna do? Brazil, South Korea game is at the Ras Abu Baud Stadium, which is says it's 20 minutes away. It's more likely an hour to get in. So we should be okay to bring you the rest of the game, I think. Uh, there's Japanese break from their little scrum and will come out for extra time. Been a dead second half. I can only see this going to penalties. I don't see Croatia scoring from open play. They've not had many chances at all. Maybe the Japanese, but they've looked a bit leggy, a little bit tired in that second half. They haven't attacked with the same ferocity, with the same width, with the same zip that they did in that first half. And I think that, sec that first goal for Croatia really knocked the wind out of them. So, uh, first half of extra time coming up. If you're still watching, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to do the channel again. Fever took it down. Headache. But please subscribe. We'll be the world to us. Thank you. It ends one all after extra time there. Both halves of extra time were dreadful. They were woeful. Japan have been the better team. They deserve to go through. But penalties, it comes down to anything. Since it's the first penalty uh, shootout of the World Cup, we're not going to bring you all of the uh, penalties, but we'll bring you the last little bit at the end. They're through. He scores. They're through. And the Croats celebrate. They don't deserve it, but they've done it. And they're both likely between Brazil and the next round. Pasalic scored the winning penalty. The Croats celebrate. They've had no other fans on that side. They're all on this side, to be fair. They're loving it. They weren't the better team. Japan were by a mile. But three draws. Four, three draws. They only beat Canada 4-1. But they're through, and most likely they want Brazil next. I will leave you with a very rendition of the great one. Please subscribe to Brazil, Sad Korea. Next, I'm going to run there now.